What happens when you take Clash Royale and animify it? You get Revolve 8, a strategic PvP battler doused in anime eyeball pleasing goodness. In my opinion, this genre is starting to grow mold, yet maybe this injection of goofy anime is all it needs to progress. So let's take a look at Revolve 8, developed by Sega! Available on Android and iOS devices. First up, gameplay. Let's look at the basic mechanics. It's all very familiar. A map with opposing sides, towers that need to be defended, troops to send out for attacks and defense, destroy the towers for a win. Nothing here is out of the ordinary. It's basically Clash Royale, or Badland Brawl, or any other game within the genre. Those aforementioned games possess the same basic mechanics, with different aspects to distinguish themselves. So what separates Revolve 8, badass epic anime heroes with uber awesome special abilities? Abilities. The game has a vast array of heroes, each with special abilities and stats, like Beefy Buff King, a massive tank that shields damage and heals himself, or Biker Gal, who zooms towards the towers, even Sinbad who lays down a pool of poison, and many many more. In essence, these are the stars. The rest of the troops are used as support, just regular troops with different uses. It's the heroic heroes that turn the usual gameplay into an engaging session of PvP thoughtfulness. Using the right ability against certain foes can mean the difference between a spectacular win or an embarrassing loss. I know other games possess these same strategic aspects, yet here it is exemplified by over-the-top personalities. I actually paid close attention to my heroes and their strategic abilities. There's even a story type mode for each hero, just in case you are wondering why the king is so obsessed with being a beefcake. It's these little extras that separate the game from others. Then unlock more heroes, level them up, go through stories, and continue on to more frantic battles with eccentric characters. Now I am not saying this game will make a believer out of those who dislike these type of games, yet I am saying, Revolve 8 has a way of making the gameplay more engaging, thus more fun, and in the end gave me the urge to unlock more heroes. As I said before, the various larger than life personalities is what sets this game apart from the crowd. Next up, graphics. How can I sum up these graphics? I know, fantastic cell shaded anime nose bleeding goodness. The graphics really do prop this game up, helping it transcend itself in many ways. First I really like how the main menu loads into the battles, as if it's one single shot. I really like the art style portrayed here. The cell shaded anime look gives the game some character. Plus the color scheme is very easy on the eyes. However the best aspect is the awesome looking scenes that play out during battles. Using a special ability results in a fantastic over exaggerated anime show. This attention to detail creates play sessions that don't bog down with slowness. Instead it keeps my eyes glued to the screen. The fun looking battles and quirky heroes aren't the only graphical impressiveness. I also like the many unique troops, all with distinct looks, as well as the fluid menu systems. Everything is shiny and over the top. It's a glorious treasure of One Piece flashiness. Finally, free playability. At this point in the unit battler mobile genre, we've seen this type of monetization time and time again. It's the usual loot box unlocks, although here it's a book. Earn these books through winning or purchase with gems. Unlock more heroes, troops, and use them to level up or customize your deck. Then there's the waiting to unlock system as well as limited shelves. Get it? Because they're books? You can use gems to speed up unlocks and use coins to purchase more troops. The gems are going to be your main source of real money use here, so don't be surprised when you see a $99 pack for a bagazillion gems. Again, this type of monetization is not new, and if you accept it for what it is, you'll be fine. Then again, I would have liked to have seen some experimentation here. The rest of the game tries to change up the usual, yet here we're basically getting the usual. Now that I've spent some time in an anime-tastic world, is it a download it? A give it a try? Or a waste of space? Revolve 8 flexes its muscles as a plus, 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 give it a try. The traditional gameplay has enough differences to make this game worthy of a play. By co-mingling anime RPG specials and Clash Royale basics, we have a competent, even fantastic unit battler. The graphics serve up a dish of delicious anime, thus adding to the quirky quality this game possesses. The monetization doesn't give us anything new or different, not sure why I expected it to do so. Overall, I am impressed with Revolve 8. I went in with low expectations, I came out with a newfound sense of appreciation. I do have some explaining to do. Why not a download it? The extra pluses sure seem to be going that route. I still believe this game is download worthy, yet if I tear away the wonderful graphics and the new gameplay elements, we're still left with a game that does what most in this genre do, unlock troops to take down opposing towers. Sure this does it in new and fun ways, yet the basics are still here, and the monetization is just as relevant. So for those who absolutely enjoy these games and want 
flashy effects with a dose of anime fun, then definitely download this game. For those tired of Clash Royaling or Bad Landing, then this just might be the fresh take you need to boost your entertainment within the genre. So grab the baby oil, send out a beefy buff Royal King, and give Revolve 8 a play. As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more reviews, and ring that notification bell for video updates. Fun fact, my birthday is right around the corner.